Hi and welcome to Homeschoolology. My name is Nikki and I'm a homeschooling mom of four and on this channel I'd like to talk to you guys about all things secular homeschooling and maybe a little bit about motherhood. So I want to start by saying I'm sorry this video is late. I was supposed to get it up on Monday. It's not going to go up until Wednesday. It has been a whole ordeal and if you want to stay until the end of the video I will fill you in on all the sorted details. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into what you guys are really here to see and that is the Penwheels program from Rooted in Language. So if you watched my compare and contrast video, which I will link for you, um, I talked about how we originally started with all about reading and even though it's a great program and we like it it just didn't work for us and so I was on the hunt for something new and my friend had mentioned pinwheels to me and then I started doing a little research and found out that Miss Rita who wrote the pinwheels program had written the one program that the brave writer used to have and we love brave writer with my older daughter and i thought well if she wrote the wand program then she must have a similar ideology and so i thought i'm going to go ahead and give pinwheels a try because we love the brave writer program so much and i was right the style is very similar to the brave writer style but it does give a little bit more structure which is kind of the one thing that i wish brave writer had so we are currently loving this program it is a learn to read program and even though my daughter is in second grade, there are several reasons why I have chosen to use it. So her, she is a reluctant reader. She doesn't want to read. She doesn't see the point in it. She um, gets by without reading and so she is not encouraged to learn right now, which we're working on and slowly but surely we're getting there and she is starting to read a lot better, which is great. But um, as we've been working, I feel like she had some holes in her foundations or things that she was getting confused. And so when I was looking at the Pinwheels program and trying to decide where uh, we should begin, I decided, you know what, let's just start at the beginning and um, use this opportunity to review and make sure that all of our holes are being filled. And I knew it would be easy for her and I wanted to give her some confidence. I wanted her to I wanted it to be easy so that she would enjoy doing it. So for that for all those reasons, we decided to start with level 1 and I knew we were going to breeze through it and we really have. Like we've been doing it for like maybe um, 5 or 6 weeks and we are like literally next week we'll probably be starting level 2. And so we've been breezing through it, but I really think even though she wants to pretend like she doesn't like it, I can see those moments behind the facade that she really is enjoying all of the elements that it provides from the games and the activities to she I think she's even really enjoying the way the worksheets are laid out so in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the down view of the flip through of the program but I was also able to record my daughter and I doing a lesson so I've included that here for you as well but if I miss something please comment down below and let me know and I would be happy to make another video uh, answering any of your questions and while you're down there I hope you will subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell and without further ado here's the flip through so this is Pinwheels uh, Year 1, Level 1. It also has a Level 2 that's meant to use over the course of a year to two years. Uh, it's like a kindergarten level, um, but I think you could almost even start this in preschool um, for some learners. So I have in the directions, this, this program is a PDF download. So you print everything, make everything yourself. Unlike all about reading or foundations or some of those other programs, you actually have to print it yourself. I have chosen to do spiral binding for the educator guide and for the student notebook because that is my preference as opposed to a three ring binder, but the three ring binder is also an option um, if you want to like having the ability to move things around. So like everything, all the other ones, it starts with a, um, unit breakdown and gives you a scope and sequence. Um, it does, something I really like about pinwheels is it includes everything, phonics, spelling, handwriting, word studies, grammar, reading and writing, it includes the whole gamut. It's really an all-in-one program, which I really like. And then it would begin with our um, first unit. 
the unit, the way it's written, it shows you how many days you should spend on each thing and what you should cover. But it, the yellow boxes are your script that you read, so it's pretty open and go. It has multi-sensory activities, songs, stories. Um, you build this, this is a really cool feature that I like. You build a language arts binder, um, and it has, this is where you store all of your students' materials, um, and then they include, you build it with your students, so they kind of have a little bit of ownership over it, um, but it has spelling rules, and phonics rules, and phonics, and all kinds of different things in here. Um, so you build that as you go along. So I, the one thing I will say about this program is it is very intimidating in the beginning because you have to print all this, get it bound, set up the binder for the student, then you have a binder for yourself um, that has all of the additional resources that you need, like the readers and the extra materials and then you have to even create the um, some of the games this one's really fun I'll t explain more about it later um, but you have to literally build all of this yourself the letter tiles they do have letter tiles just like all about reading and foundations um, but you have to make everything and so this took me several days to get together but if you know that you can you will be able to take the time that you need to do it. It's not hard, it's just time consuming. So put on a good show, get out that cutter, and start working. Um, let me show you inside the student workbook. Um, so it has things like fill in the missing sound, and it has letter practice um, for handwriting, blending, and then, um, trying to find it does start with dictation very early on so um, or not dictation but copy work very early on so it has um, red light green light editing which I really 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 like this one is a really fun game you have your letters here and they roll a dice and whichever whatever the dice says they have to flip one and read the new word and I just really like their approach. Their, their multi-sensory things really seem to be clicking for my daughter. So I'm really enjoying this Pinwheels program. I think it's going to be really great for us as a family. I uh, Now they only have right now levels, year one, level one and two, and then the next level three um, and they're working on putting out level four. So I'm hoping they have it done by the time we're ready for it, um, but we shall see. But I'm really, 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 really liking this program a lot. When we add two things together, we call it a sum. When we add word parts together, it is called a word sum. In a word sum, we show each separate word part and then the whole word put together. Let's look at the word sums. We can see that the base word, bag, plus the suffix s. If we put these together, we have a new word. What is it? Bags. Bags, good job. If they, um, notice that the s makes the z sound in the word bags. Bags. Go ahead and do, you can pick either this side or this side, whichever one you wanna do. Remember, you're supposed to make the hump first, but you're doing good. It's very neat handwriting. Hump. Good. On this one, can you say the sound like you're supposed to do as you write it? Uh. 
Ugh. Good. Okay. <clears throat> These are lowercase. Are they supposed to go up to this guy? No. <laughs> that's supposed to start at the fence. It's okay. Just do it. Just do it on the next one. <clears throat> go ahead and do the next one. Make sure you say your sounds. And make sure they're lowercase to make sure they're between the fence and the ground. Okay, pause, erase. Remember, P dips below the ground, right? Good job. Remember it's... So what is this? Pig. Pig. Can you spell pig? Or can you write pig? P. E. G. Good. And then over here, what do we have? Pigs. Pigs. Right. So can you, you start with our base word. P. I. G. And then we add our suffix. Good. All right. Can you do the next one? Don't forget to say your sounds as you're writing your letters. P. Nope. That's a P. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got it. Uh, ah. Good. Good. Bag becomes. We are going to learn about two cautional words. So, the first one is this word. Do you know what this word is? Is. Is. So, um, it says write your name on the line and then create a sentence using the caution is <clears throat> as you read. So, Write your name here. Say your sounds. Mm -hmm. mm. Stop there. Okay, Bren. What is this word? Is. Is. Are you happy or sad? <laughs> Your medium? Okay. So down here, who do you want to write about? You or me or the dog? Good. Appy is a... Baby. Can you draw a baby? Or you can write the word baby, whichever one you want to do. I know how to spell baby. Well, let's sound it out. Buff. I know how to spell baby. A. B. E. It's a Y. Yeah. Good job. Happy is a baby. So this is our caution word. So anytime we see this word, we just have to remember that this word says is. So we're going to play switch a vowel. Remember, we played this before. So, what does it say now? Stop. No, there's no T. So it says stop. Stop. We want to change the vowel from an O on the ah sound to the what sound does this one make? E. E sound. So good. So can you change the vowel here? Purple. 
Good. Alright. So now what does it say? Sip. Sip. <laughs> like you're taking a sip of your drink. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what does it say? Good. <clears throat> What is this? Cap. What is this one? Cap. What is this one? Cap. Ah. G. Ah. B. Cap. Gab. Good job. Okay, roll. Four. One, two, three, four. Nip. Say it again. Nip. Good. What is this one? P. P. Eh. Uh. B. Ped. G. <laughs> Sed. What's this one? Sed. Good. Good job. Has not changed at all. I know. <laughs> I'm sad. Good job. Switch the sound. You remember how to play this one? Feels good. Feels cool. All right. Listen to the first word. Ready? Bag. No. <laughs> They're white. They can't all be white because they can't be the same sound. Remember, they get a, a different color, same, color for each sound. a different color and a different sound. Ready? B -a -g. No. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Remember? B -a -g. Listen to what changes. Bad. Which one are you gonna take away? Good, good, that's right. All right, Cha listen to what it changes now. <laughs> listen, th remember this is b a d. Change it to dad. Okay, what sound does this make? Duh. And I'm saying duh, ah, duh. So what color does this one have to be? <laughs> it's the same color, right? Because these two sounds are the same, right? Okay, I'm going to change it again. Here we go. Duh, ah, duh becomes duh, eh, duh. What sound changed? Good job. You want it to be white? <laughs> That's fine. Just remember that the I, now it's saying I. So I hope you guys found that useful. Like I said before, if I miss anything, go ahead and comment down below or feel free to shoot me a DM over on Instagram at homeschoolology and I'm happy to help in any way that I can. I did have some questions about whether this curriculum was rigid or complex and I will say that it is more complex than say all about reading but it, that part of that is because all about reading is about reading and this program is a full language arts program including everything from not just phonics and learning to read but also writing and narration and um, spelling and all of it it's a, an all in one language arts curriculum so it, um, in that sense it is more complex so even though we're not using this curriculum exactly like it's laid out because we're not going back and reviewing and hitting everything that it suggests in the unit breakdown um, because this is review for us i still think it should be pretty simple um, and pretty open and go still. Everything that you need is there and it's really just a matter of making sure you're, you're hitting the right pages. Um, I think my post-it note system for planning would be really useful to you for that. Um, 
So if you want to check out more about that, go ahead and check out my planning video that I will link up here for you. Um, and so I think once you get into it, it, it's really not as complex or rigid as you might think that it is. So hopefully I was able to put your mind at ease about that because I really do enjoy the program. I really do think it's a, it's a great one. Um, it's engaging and uh, enjoyable and pretty easy to teach, I think. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you will stick around and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Oh my God. Okay, so I forgot to record the little sort of details of this for you guys, and then I just recorded the whole thing and looked down and realized I didn't even hit the record button. <laughs> I just have to laugh at this point because this is just ridiculous. So I have <clears throat> re-recorded this video so many times. The first time I thought I recorded it and didn't. The second time I recorded it, came back to record it, and uh, all you could hear in the whole video was the dog barking and the baby scooting things along the floor and making all kinds of noise, and it was super distracting. So I decided I'd just film it again. It was a rainy day, and we normally play on the playground at my, while my daughter does her art class, and so since we couldn't do that and my husband broke his toe I thought, and could keep some of the kiddos, I decided I'd just refilm in my car, and all those super cute videos with my daughter doing all kinds of silly cute things. All of them were filmed in the wrong setting. I don't know how that happened. And so I had tried to edit it. I probably edited the video the seven times and tried to export it. It wouldn't export. Finally figured out the problem, converted all the videos, and they were a mess. Ending, some of them cut off the end. They were all jumbled and jumpy. And so I just thought I'd re-record this again for the third or fourth time and uh, hopefully you guys can ignore the greasy messy bun hair and the horrible lighting that I'm sure it is because it's now dark time dark because <laughs> it's now nighttime while I'm trying to record uh, and I hope you guys found this video useful I really wanted to get it to you because I know you've been waiting for it and I'm behind getting it out to you so that is the drama that was this video so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you will stick around and watch more of my crazy dramatic life. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.